Hello and welcome into the 3D. Today we are going to create this kind of fire effect in Unreal Engine 5. Before we start, you can go and download the texture that I provide in the descriptions or you can use your own texture. Now right click on this area and select the import the game option. Select and open the texture. This is a simple smoke image with a transparent background. There is nothing special about this. Let me close it. Right click on this area and create a new material. Let's rename this as fire material and open the material graph by double clicking on this. Select the material node and change the blend mode to translucent Shading model to unlit and make sure to enable two sided option. Now you can drag and drop the texture to our material graph and it will automatically create us a texture sample node. Then right click on this area and create a particle color node and finally create two multiply nodes. This is the first one and you can create another one by holding M on your keyboard and left clicking on an empty area. Let's connect the RGB of the particle color node to the A input, RGB of the texture sample to the B input and output of this multiply node to the emissive color. Alpha of the particle color to the A input of the second multiply node, alpha of the texture sample to the B and output of this to the opacity. That's all. We are done with the material graph. Save it and close this panel. Now right click on this area and create a Niagara system. Select the first option and click next. Select the font and template, click on the plus icon and hit finish. Let's rename this as fire ns which means niagara system open the niagara system and on the left panel you will see the particles and this is how the font and template comes before we start go under window and click on the preview scene settings on the right panel there is an option that we can disable the environment from the background and also I would like to change the background color to a darker gray and this will make it easier to see the particles. Now we can start thinking about our simulation and first thing that we need to fix is the gravity. We are making a fire simulation so the particles shouldn't fall down but because of the gravity force they are falling down. So let's go under the particle update and delete the gravity force. Now the particles are constantly going up and this is what we need. Ok let's select the particle spawn but first we can close the preview scene settings and under the selection panel you will see the lifetime mode of the particles is already set to random. We can make the minimum lifetime 1.5 and maximum 3 seconds. After that make sure this one is set to random uniform and make the minimum size 5, maximum 40. Great. After this scroll down and find the velocity speed options. Make the minimum 100, maximum 200. This is what we have created and it is already looks good. Now let's click on the plus icon next to the particle update and add a scale sprite size attribute to this. On the right panel, 
click on this plus icon and it will create a key to the middle. Select the first key and make it 0 by 0 0.1. Select the middle key and make it 0 0.2 by 1. Maybe 0 0.4 by 1. And the last one, 1 by 1. Maybe we can make the middle key 0 0.2 by 1. You can play around and see which settings is better for you. After this, select the drag settings and make it 0.5. Now we have a nice smooth effect and we can go under the render settings, select the sprite renderer and change the material to the material that we have created which is the fire material. Now, the particles are spawning with the shape of the material that we have created and if we go to the initialize particle options, we can change the color for the final touch. Let's make it 20 by 5 by 1. We got the effect, but we can push this one step further by adding a smoke inside this fire. Let's change the name of the emitter. I will rename this as fire, then select the emitter and click Ctrl and C to copy and duplicate it by clicking Ctrl and V on your keyboard. We can rename the second emitter as smoke. First, let's change the color to a dark gray, something close to black. I will make the RGNB 0.01 Then we can make the lifetime minimum 2 and maximum 4 seconds Finally, select the drag settings and make it 0.4 So now we have something like this and if you are happy with the result Save it and close the Niagara system, or you can keep playing with the attributes. Let me close this panel, and I will drag and drop the Niagara system to my scene. This is what we have created, and it looks great. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.